Hello YouTubers! I'd like to show you the prototype of a lithium charger. It's a balance, balance charger. It's uh, something that I came up with after a long long research on another of another uh, chargers and I, I was looking for a long time a charger who can charge a few amps for each cell of a battery pack and I couldn't find one. All the balanced chargers uh, start from this uh, LiPo balance charger and go to another balance chargers. They all charge for well maybe few milliamps to uh, uh, I don't know, maybe the maximum charging for each cell, for balance charging, can be uh, 100 milliamp or so. And the main issue, the main problem of charging and balancing chargers, uh, sorry, battery packs, is that you need a individual line for each cell that can charge individually or, uh, each cell by itself. Um, it's kind of an electric problem we have here because the, the cells are actually a battery pack. The, the, the first cell connected to the other. So the minus of this cell is the plus of the other one. So if you if you try to charge each cell, so <laughs> very fast you you discover that you have a short uh, shortcut a short circuit. So I came up with this idea. I will explain the what I did here. I decided that I'm going to make a special transformer. So I wrapped on this. Uh, transformer 20 wires on parallel so actually now we have 16 working and we have a few four more waiting for me to upgrade this charger for 20 cells balance charger and each of this line actually it's a power line it's a power line it produced about 12 volts and each of this line go for this step down transformer sorry it's a it's a step down it's just a step down module it's a good quality one that i found and uh, you can adjust the voltage and the the amp, the amp. so i ju adjust all these step downs for 1 amp <coughs> give it a smooth slow charging and this is the diode bridge that I build it's just you take the AC this transformer connect to the to the electricity the AC power 220 volt it step it step it down <coughs> to AC 12 volt and then uh, the power is rectified for DC go to these step downs as you can see it's a uh, diodes you don't need a smoothing capacitor because you have one on the step down module, so save me a lot of work and more capacitors, and it works really fine. And this is the step down, and it's all connected with this bunch of wires to this bridge, and then it goes to the actually it's, it's it goes to the BMS plug. I will show you. This is the uh, well. The BMS is there. <laughs> it's down there. So anyway, this is the the BMS plug. Uh, this plug connected to the battery, and it goes, and it's it's actually connected to all the the parallel cells. So you have here all the. Uh, the minus and the plus and all the the voltage 
of the cells it can transfer one amp easily you can even you can even charge it for two or three amps and it will be fine but one amp is definitely a very easy and convenient uh, solution for this setup and as you can see here um, it's already working it's working for a few hours and it's all uh, most of the cells are balanced we have here this is the lowest cell this battery is a battery that we we just fixed it's a broken battery uh, it go into a sea salt water so we replaced a few cells here and we weld the nickel belt from the beginning and we we did what we can we could to to save this battery now you have to go for balance charging so charging is working fine the reason that you don't see now the amp is because <laughs> there is another issue here that I discovered and when I tried to connect the the amp power the amp the amp meters so I discovered that the Chinese they connected the negative of the voltmeter to the negative of the amp meter inside so it's the same issue uh, if if I when I connected the the minus and the minus, it makes the same shortcut that uh, <laughs> if you work with with serious battery packs, you know this issue. So for now, I cannot connect the amp meters. Uh, if it it wouldn't be that way, if the amp meter would measure the the plus the the, the positive. So I could do that, but in that way I cannot do that. So probably, or I'm going to replace these meters, or all this charger going to go in, uh, going to be uh, connected to. Uh, uh, sorry again, uh, all this balancer going to be connected to an Arduino, probably Arduino with a screen. Um, I have here this screen and this is the, the Arduino, this is the Arduino Mega and uh, I think I have here 20 pins that I can use uh, so maybe I will I will go for it later on after I, I will check and make some test with the balance and then I can, and then it will be easy to see all the cells, the balance, and, and for the amp, for the amps measurements, I will make a homemade chants and make the measurements of the amp for all the cells. But for a start, this is a beautiful solution, and actually you can use this charger to charge every battery pack in the world uh, every serious battery pack and you can charge two three four cells you can charge 12 cells battery you can charge 14 13 16 as many as as many as uh, three lines that you have here you can charge and actually I can move this plug for I could try to do that, but how to do it with one hand? <laughs> Let's check it. Okay. Let's move it. Okay. This is well. Sorry. Okay. In that way, it works. See, just move it, and it will charge. It will give. It will give you the the charging. the The reason that now it's it's hard to see because the 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 battery voltage 
and the charge of voltage are quite the same so it's hard to tell which of the cells are connected when the amp hour, when the amp meters will work so it will be easy to see which one of the cells is getting charging now getting charged now but this is the charger and it's a beautiful charger <coughs> it gives a maximum solution for all the people in the world who's trying to charge, to balance actually, not to charge, to balance uh, battery packs. When you use small, small batteries for your quadcopters on all your RC, so it's easy to do that with this charger. This is an RC battery, this is a LiPo battery. Yes, you can use this charger, you go into a balance mode, it will do the work in 10, sometimes 15 hours will do the work, will balance your pack. But if you go for big packs, or if you need much more than four cells in series, if you have 13, if you have 16, or this battery is 20 serial cells, so you do need you do need this charger or something similar. So just wanted to share with you this prototype and it really it works well uh, for now it consumes all the system consumes 18 watts because the bat the battery is almost uh, fully charged but when I connected it in the at the beginning it was about 80 watts and the transformer is really cold it's fine the the diode bridge is it's quite hot but not too hot so it works fine if I will decide to step it up to uh, two amps or one and one and a half amp for the system so I will need to to cool down the the diode rectifier uh, attach some heat sink it will do the work so sharing with you this first step of my balance charger um, hope it will give you a nice ideas uh, maybe you want to develop go for another level please share with me thank you